Tonight, a Mississippi murder suspect sits in court with a bond over a million dollars. 27-year-old Joe Quincy McCord is accused of killing his estranged wife in Pascagoula, then taking their two-year-old daughter here to Mobile. It all came to an end at a Westmobile gas station. That's where NBC 15's Andrea Ramey is live with the very latest. Andrea? Yeah, McCord, McCord surrendered here peacefully last night. Surveillance cameras captured the moments leading up to it. Surveillance cameras capture Mobile Police units pulling into the parking lot at a gas station at Greelot University. Officers cautiously head toward the side of the building. One appears to have his weapon drawn. What's not captured by surveillance are the moments they encounter 27-year-old Joe Quincy McCord, who just three hours earlier, investigators say, shot and killed his estranged wife, Brittany McCord, at an apartment complex in Pascagoula. Anything that happened, you know, anything. She put it in his hands and she didn't worry about it. That was my favorite thing about her, always. She always had a, a spiritual quote. Um, she always had something, you know, to uplift me. Uh, she was just always positive, you know, and she had MS and she was miserable 99% of her day. Um, she still worked, um, provided for her two babies. Um, she was a great mother, um, wonderful friend. Um, and she will be missed. Police say after the murder, McCord took their two-year-old daughter, Genesis, to Mobile, prompting an Amber Alert. Genesis is okay. Police say McCord turned her over to his brother before turning himself into police. <coughs> Records show McCord's connection to two addresses in Mobile County, though knocks on doors went unanswered. This is your initial appearance. Today, McCord appeared before a Jackson County, Mississippi judge and given a $1.5 million bond for murder and felony child abuse charges. Investigators say during his attack, McCord pistol whipped his stepson as he was trying to save his mother's life. The boy then ran outside for help and moments later, investigators say he heard a single shot. Records show that McCord was arrested in Mobile in 2013 on a domestic violence charge. We have reached out to the city to find out the outcome in that case. Reporting live tonight in Mobile, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15.